So tell me about Donna. Okay. Uh, Donna is a 40-year-old female patient who presents with a four-month history of intermenstrual bleeding. Uh, she's saying she's bleeding in between her periods for three or four days um, and needing about one panty lighter per day. Um, she says she has no particular associated pain with these bleeds, uh, but she does admit to uh, deep pain occasionally during intercourse for the last four months as well. Um, she otherwise have regular periods every four weeks uh, with bleeding for about seven days. Um, bleeding at this time is not particularly heavy, but it has become more painful um, over the last few years. Um, she's been sexually active since her 20s with very few partners. Uh, her current partner has been the same one for the last five years and she has no history of sexually transmitted disease. Um, they're currently using condoms and not watching the family at this point and she's never taken any contraception in the past. Um, she's never been pregnant, never had an ectopic or any miscarriage in the past. Um, she's had regular pap smears throughout her life. Uh, she's never had an abnormal result and her last one was about over a year ago. Um, she's a non-smoker, otherwise healthy and no significant past medical history. Um, on examination, um, her abdominal exam was entirely normal. Her bimanual exam, uh, her uterus was a little bit tender on palpation, but otherwise normal. Um, speculant ex examination was normal, and at the same time I did a pap smear and swabs. Great. So uh, my differential at this time uh, would be DUB, would be endometriosis, and maybe the presence of a fibroid or a polyp. Um, so going through the differentials, um, a DUB would be quite common, uh, but it's, it's kind of a diagnosis of exclusion, so I have to rule out other causes first. Um, endometriosis um, can occur at this age. You can have the intermenstrual spotting as well as the bleeding. Um, painful uh, intercourse, as well as, um, oh, I think that's about it for yeah. endometriosis. And pain during her periods. Pain during her periods. Yeah. Um, as well, a polyp or fibroid can also have deep dyspareunia, mm -hmm. as well as the bleeding or spotting during periods. Great. Or in, in between periods. Okay. Um, do you think there's any other diagnoses you'd have on that list? Um, I guess my only other one would be adenomyosis, if you thought about that. Okay. Um, I don't know that much about it. It wasn't on my list anyways. Okay. okay. Um, so as far as management, we had discussed her symptoms and her problems together and we thought we would send it for a pelvic ultrasound. Uh, we'll do a CBC um, just to see how much blood has been lost. We'll um, wait for the result of the pap smear that we did mm -hmm. and we'll probably prescribe some NSAIDs for her pain. Um, I'm not entirely sure what NSAID to use uh, and how much. Okay, well we can discuss that with her when we go back in. Okay. Um, and as far as the case to read up uh, further about, I was thinking of adenomyosis uh, so I'm not that familiar with it. Great. Alright, well let's go in and see her. Okay. Thank you.